That technically you are. There's Lainey. Hi, Hi Lainey. Hi, Lainey. Good morning. Good morning. Do you have a good week? Yes. Hey, are you signed up for the virtual VBS yet? No. Better get on it. Closes at four today, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> Did she hear me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my Tell me about your bike, Rylan. Hi, Grant and Maggie. You guys awake? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, Rylan, chill. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh my god. Hey, Alexis. Hi. I see my bike. <laughs> see my bike. Okay. Yes. Everybody hears you about your bike. Here, bud. You don't need to have it on yet. <laughs> Can you embrace it, Lainey? Hey. What happened? Um, like the end of May. Yeah. Wow. So much stuff is happening. Yeah. Hey, Ruth, get your piece of paper and your eye mask. Ah. I'm over here. Everybody has a one yeah. paper and a pencil, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Hi. Hello, Bracken. Bracken Paul. Hi. Uh, uh. Hey, Jake. How's it going? I don't know yet. Pulling out my chair. Come here, bud. Hey. Hey, Gentry. Oh, Happy birthday, Grandma. Happy birthday. Thank you. Hold on. Hey, did you get any for your birthday yet, Gemma? Yeah, my doll's wearing the new clothes that I got. Hey, she looks like she's got a running outfit on. And I got lots of tractors in the fridge. Oh, okay. I like tractors. I like tractors. Yeah, you like tractors. Huh? You got a tractor. Racken, are you awake? <laughs> you got your blindfold pencil and brush. Oh, all right. We're gonna get you started. Virtual VBS? Huh? Are you going to sign bracket for the virtual VBS? Have I not already? Uh, if you did it after Friday, I don't know. I think I have. I'll check and make sure. I can't see. Cracking me up. All right, hold on. Let me get my screen ready. All right. 
righty. So what's up? It's great to see everyone here in our virtual jump. My name is Nikki, and I'm so glad you're here. This summer, we've been putting our focus on faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see, right? So when we take a closer look at God and see how good he is, it helps us to put our trust in him. Today, we'll hear a story about a guy named Paul who helped a lot of people understand what Jesus did for them, even though they had never seen Jesus before. So we'll check that out a little bit later. So, but first, we've got a cool focusing game, right? I'm not really much of an artist myself, but the more I focus on what I'm drawing, the better my artwork turns out. So we're going to test the skills of you guys and your drawing, right? So I'm going to private message you guys in Zoom, each one at a time, and you'll have 30 seconds to draw what I, what I type to you. Like, say, I typed... I don't know, a flag. You would have to try to draw a flag, right? So, um, but you don't tell us what you are trying to draw. Um, all the other people are going to try to focus on when you're done, when your 30 seconds is up, they're going to focus on what you did and they're going to see if they can guess it, right? And if they guess it right, they get a point. So we're going to take turns one at a time. And, oh yeah, the best part is, oh, yeah. is that you have to do it blindfolded. <laughs> so when it's your turn to draw, you have to put the blindfold on, right? All right, give me a thumbs up if you understand the game. I see thumb, 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 thumb. Gemma, do you understand? Is Gentry out there? Does she understand? All right. Oh, I got you muted. What'd you say, Gemma? She's what? Getting paper. Okay. Well, we'll come back to you. All right. Does anybody want to go first? Raise your hand if you want to go first. Okay. I saw Bracken's hand shoot up first. Okay. All right. Rebecca and Ruben, put your heads down so you don't see what I'm typing to Bracken. So, no cheating. All right, Bracken. You are going to draw a don't say it out loud all right so when you're ready you're gonna put your blindfold on I'm gonna put my timer on here 30 seconds I'm not ready okay I'm still working the timer so tell me when you're ready <laughs> oh. You guys aren't allowed to guess what it is. You saw that. Okay. Are you ready, Bracken? All right. Ready, set, go. He's got 28 seconds to draw what was typed to him, and then we will all focus on what it is to try to guess what it is. He is now down to 15 <laughs> seconds, Bracken. 15. Are you done? 10, yeah, nine, done. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, Bracken, show it to the screen so we can try to guess what it is. Get it really close. Really, really, really close. All right. Lainey, why don't you guess first? What do you think it is? Oh, you're muted. Hold on. Unmute yourself, Lainey. Oh, there you go. What do you think it is, Lainey? A seat or a chair. A seat or a chair? Rebecca, what do you think it is? A chair. A chair. Reuben? A chair. Maggie, what do you think it is? I can't hear you. Speak up really loud. Grant, can you guess what it is? 
a hat or a chair. All right. No, she's not. Stop. Jacob, what do you think it is? Get it really close, Bracken. It looks like a... And Gemma, what do you think it is? A uh, chair, I guess. A chair. A All right, Bracken, tell them what it is. It's a hat. It's a hat. Oh. Yeah, Grant got it. Woohoo! Grant gets a point. All right, who wants to go next? Me. Me. All right, Rebecca, we're going to do Rebecca. All right, got Seconds. Hold on, wait a minute, and go. If she gets done quicker than 30 seconds, we'll just stop it. Oh, broke it. No, it's not. Okay, stop. You got two seconds, Becca. Go. Keep going. <laughs> All right, here we go. And 10. Done. Not, oh, she's done. All right. <laughs> that really good? What do you guys think this is? Laney. Jeff, an apple. What do you think, Laney? A bag. A bag? Maggie? Grant? A frog. A frog? Maggie? Bracken? Um. Gemma and Gentry, what did you say? Apple. Apple. All right. And Jacob, what do you think it is? Orange. Orange. All right. Back. Oh, sorry. Ruben, what do you think it is? Ouch. Okay, so he thinks, he thinks it's an apple. Tell him what it is, Becca. An apple. If you guessed an apple, you got a point. Yes. All right. Lainey, you want to go next? I want to go next. I do. I do. Lainey, you want to go next? All right. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Rebecca and Ruben, put your heads down. Uh, there you go. I sent it to you, Lainey. All right, I'm putting my timer on. Are you ready? Set, go. Here we go. Lainey's drawing her thing. Look at her. <laughs> All right, you're down to 15 seconds right now. 15. I'm done. She's done. All right, put it up to the screen. Just shout out what you think it is, guys. Go down. I can't see any. Oh, there you go. Up a little, Lainey. Go up. Pull your paper up. There you go. What do you guys think it is? An ant. What'd you say, Bracken? An ant. An ant? Up a little, Lainey. There you go. What do you guys think it is? <laughs> Reuben thinks it's a caterpillar. Move your paper up, Lainey. There you go. I didn't see it. It's right there. I have no idea. Swipe the screen and maybe you'll be able to see it. <laughs> Great. Maggie, are you guys going to guess? Yeah. Then, Emma? Caterpillar. 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 All right, Lainey, tell them what it is. A dog. It's a dog. What? How is that a dog? <laughs> well, you're blindfolded. It's hard. That's you gotta funny. really focus in what she was doing. Uh, All right, Maggie or Grant, do you guys want to go? Stop. I'm gonna go one person. Okay. Okay, Lainey. Or Rebecca. All right, Grant, this one's for you. All right. What do you guys want? 
Here it comes right now. All right, Grant, did you get it? On your mark, get set, Grant, get your pencil in your hand. Go. All right, he's getting down to 20 seconds. What is he drawing? Hmm. What is he drawing, Rylan? What is he drawing? Six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, Grant, show us what you got. Hold it up. Hold that to the screen. Up closer. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I got it. I got it. Up, 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 Grant. Grant, go up. All right. It's a bicycle. Who thinks it's a bicycle? Me. Bicycle. Like everybody thinks it's a bicycle. Guess what? I'm a bicycle. Woo! Good job, Grant. I'm a bicycle. All right. Jacob, you ready to go? All right, put your eyes down. Jacob's going next. Here we go. Hold on. Here we go. It's coming to you right now. <laughs> yep, it's sent. All right, you ready? You got your pencil in your hand? Set? Go. All right, he's drawing. He's got his whole face covered. He's down to 20 seconds. Are you done? All right, hold it up. All right, guys, what is it? Get it really close, Jacob. Up a little higher. There you go. Balloon? A balloon? A balloon or a lollipop? A balloon or a lollipop? A balloon or a balloon? What do you think, Lainey? Um, a lollipop. A lollipop? Grant Maggie? Get it close, Jacob. Real close so they can see. Okay, back up a little bit. <laughs> there you go. All right. What do you think? Tell them what it is, Jacob. A lollipop. A lollipop. All right. Jeffrey or Gemma, you are next. Lollipop. Gemma, Gemma wants to go? Let Gemma go. It's her birthday, after all. I should have let her go first. Hold on. Here it comes. Close your eyes, please. Close your eyes. Close your eyes because you don't want to see it. Gemma, where's Gemma? Oh. All right. She has it, and now she's going for it. Are you ready? Tell me when to start. Start. Okay, go. What is she drawing, Rylan? Twenty seconds. Flying dresses. <laughs> Whoa. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Show us what you got. That's the X-Men. All right, okay. get it over to the screen the other way. There you go. What is it? Basketball hoop. Basketball. Basketball. What does Maggie and Grant say? Lainey, what do you think? Basketball hoop. Bracken, what do you think? Basketball hoop. Tell them what it is. A mailbox. 
Mailbox. Yeah. Okay. okay, Ruben, you're next. All right. All right, Ruben's going. Put your eye mask down. Ready, set, go. What is Ruben drawing? Now I know what he's drawing. What is he drawing? You've got 10 seconds left, Ruben. No, seven, six, five, four. Okay, he's done. What is it, people? A house. A house. house. If you think it's a house, raise your hand. All right, you guys all get a point. Yay. Yay. Okay, Maggie, you're up next. Close your eyes, kids. For six hours. All right, Maggie, I am sending it to you right now. Wait, Nikki. Yes. Can I start the timer because I already had it? Okay, go. Do you got it, Maggie? Yeah. Should be able to see it. Look at your facts. Oh, oh. 20 seconds. Well, she hasn't started yet, Jacob. Oh, okay. She has to see it. Do you see it, Maggie? Grant, can you help her find it? It's in the chat. Yeah. Let's go to chat. Put your blindfold down, Maggie, and do it. You got it? Okay, put your blindfold down. All right, she's ready. Let's go. Start. Here she goes. All right, you're down to 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, She's done. All right, show us. Up there. All right. What is it, guys? Oh, you got to keep holding it up there, Maggie. They can't see it. Over, over. Up a little higher. To the left. There you go. What is it, guys? Um, Lainey, what do you think it is? A clock. A clock? Up a little higher, Grant. <coughs> a little higher, Grant. Spaceship. It's a spaceship. Spaceship. Bracken, what do you think? I think it's a bowl. A bowl? All right. Bowl. Tell them what it is, Maggie. It's a watch. It's fine. All right, Gentry, you're the last one. Come on. Uh, here we go. Close your eyes, guys. Close your eyes. All right, Gentry, are you ready? Here it comes. Are you ready? Set. Go, Gentry. I can't see you if you've got your black mat pulled on. There you go. She's going. She's got 20 seconds. I'm done. I'm done. All right, she's done. Show it to us. I can see somebody's thumbs on it. There. Bring it in. What is that? Hold it still. Uh, we can't see. Hold it still. Very left. There you go. What is it? It's a basketball. What do you think it is? Basketball. Lainey, what do you think it is? Um, hopefully a basketball. Basketball. Back in. Um. Oh, you guys are moving it around, Gentry and Gemma. You gotta hold the camera still. <laughs> Just tell 
them what it is, Gentry. It's a beach ball. It's a beach oh, ball. Well, we said it's just gonna be straight line. Yeah, all right. Okay, Miss Welty, we're finally ready for you. Okay. I can't see Thought I was never gonna get there. Sorry. I can't see Welty. That was a fun game. I'm coming. Hold on. <laughs> Is that better, Jake? Hey. <laughs> Stop talking. Okay. So today we're picking up God's big story with something that happened that was really cool to the Apostle Paul. So wherever Paul went, he told everyone of the good news of Jesus. Many Jewish and Greek people believed in Jesus and when they, when they heard what Paul said. But at the same time, in nearly every town, a group of Jewish leaders would speak up against Paul and try to stop him. So a group of religious leaders forced Paul and his friends to leave the city of Thessalonica. Later, the same group of leaders forced Paul to leave a place called Berea. Some of the other followers of Jesus helped Paul escape to the coast so he could travel to Athens. Paul left instructions for his friends Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as they could. So have you ever heard of the city of Athens, everybody? Like we studied Greek mythology in fourth grade, and this is when I read this story, like this is what it's about. So I'm going to go off script in a little bit, Miss Nikki. I hope that's okay. Just because I haven't gotten to teach since March, so I think I just miss it a little bit. So when Paul got to Athens, he walked around the streets in the city and saw statues of their false gods. So in other words, the people in Athens believed in different gods because they didn't know about the one true God. In fact, the Athenians believed in thousands of false gods. So like all around their city, they had all kinds of different like statues. So if they wanted to have a good harvest, then they would pray to their God named Demeter. If they wanted to fall in love with somebody, then they would pray to their God named Aphrodite. Like they had all these different gods and they prayed to different ones for different situations in their lives. So we're going to pretend that these are all statues of the false gods. Okay. I wish you could see them better. Sorry. Just hold them like this to my face. So um, the people of Athens thought these gods were all in charge of different things. So there was a goddess of weather, a goddess of love. They had a god of the crops, a goddess of health. So that was all the people that they prayed to. So while Paul waited for his friends, he visited the Jewish temple to tell people about Jesus. And he also talked to people in the marketplace. So as he talked with people about Jesus, he got the attention of a group of really, really smart people. So they brought Paul to a meeting of the Ar Areopagus, Nikki, Areopagus, which was the high court of Athens. So all these really, really smart people wanted to talk to him. He really wanted to help them understand about Jesus. Paul wanted to connect the story of Jesus with something these smart thinkers already knew. He remembered when he walked around looking at the statues, he had seen an altar, so a place where people go to worship. The altar had words written on it that said, to an unknown God. So they had all these gods that they knew about, and then there was also an altar that said, to an unknown God on it. So here's what Paul said to those people. He said, people of Athens, I see that you are very religious in every way. As I walked around, I looked carefully at the things you worship. I even found an altar with to an unknown God written on it. So you don't know what you are worshiping. Now I am going to tell you about this unknown God. So Paul knew that he was talking to people that were really, really smart and were already really religious. So sometimes if somebody's really smart, it's hard to change their mind about something, right? So Paul was trying to reach out to them in a way that he knew they would understand so that he could help change their minds. So Paul explained that the true God made the entire world and everything in it. He told them how God created each person with a purpose. Paul knew that the Athenians might listen to the words of their own writers who had actually written things that are true about God, even though these writers didn't even know God yet. Some of the writers had written, we are his children. And Paul told them that was true, we are his children. Paul told them that God is alive and real, not just some statue. By sending Jesus, God had invited everyone everywhere to follow him. Paul told them that God proved this by raising Jesus from the dead. The smart thinkers thought about what Paul had said. Some of the people made fun of this idea, but others said they wanted to hear Paul speak about Jesus again. 
So Paul really wanted the people of Athens to understand why God sent Jesus. So he told them, but he didn't just say, you should believe in Jesus. He realized that the people of Athens already wanted to believe in God. They just hadn't heard about Jesus yet. He thought they might listen if he could explain that Jesus was the answer to the questions they had wondered all along. So eventually some people in Athens believed in Jesus themselves, themselves, like a man named Dionysius and a woman named Demarius. Did you know that you can do what Paul did? You can help others know Jesus. You can tell people about Jesus like Paul. You can show pe- you can show love to people. Oh, hold on. Sorry, I lost my script. You can show love to people because you know how much Jesus loves you. Trust me, other people will be able to see that you act differently because of what you believe. So when they see that, who knows? Maybe they'll want to put their faith in Jesus too. So let's pray and ask God to help us. Dear God, thank you for giving Paul the wisdom to tell others about you. He was able to share your story with the people of Athens because he saw that they already wanted to know more about you. Please give us the courage to help others know Jesus with the words we say and the way we treat others each day. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Courtney. So I love how Paul took the opportunity to help the Athenians learn about Jesus. You're muted, Nikki. (laughs) <laughs> Did I meet myself? Sorry. All right. Sorry. So I love how the people took the opportunity to help to help the Athenians learn about Jesus, right? So the people there wanted to believe in God. They just hadn't met him yet. So Paul used an altar to an unknown God to share the message of Jesus with the people. So you can do that too. Okay. Maybe not the part about finding an altar to an unknown God, but you can show others how much God loves them through your words and through your actions. You can help others know Jesus. It's easier than you might think. You can just be yourself and talk to them in a way that they can understand like Paul did. Tell them what a difference Jesus has made in your life. And remember, helping others know Jesus isn't just in what you say. It's also what you do because people are looking at the things you do. So it's in the way you treat people around you. So how should we treat others? We should treat others the way we want to be treated, right? It's called the golden rule. God had a good plan to send Jesus since the very day back here when they send in the very beginning. God had that plan already set in stone. And one of the reasons God sent Jesus is to show us life. So we can help others know Jesus by the way we live and the way we treat people. So when you treat people with love, respect, and kindness, others can see the love of Jesus through you. So remember, to help others know Jesus. That's what we're learning today. All right. So go ahead and get out your devices because we only have six minutes left. today yeah Naomi goes to youth now dad <laughs> oh my gosh not really not for me <laughs> I'm old 
Then hurry up. You may have to mute some. <laughs> cuts you off guys but it was fun if you don't <laughs> yeah. no you spelled it with an S okay. now we gotta hurry okay come on is that everybody Are you Maggie Parker Lainey Jacob is that everybody yeah I want to know what believed in what? Jesus, one God, many <laughs> gods, or Lady Gaga? Lady Gaga. <laughs> Come on, Bracken. Many false gods. Lady Gaga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they believe in lots of false gods. Good job. <laughs> Grand yeah. in a close second. As Paul was teaching people about Jesus, whose attention did he get? Miss Nikki's, some really smart people's, Jesus's, or Lady Gaga's? I don't know why I had Lady Gaga on the brain. Yeah, he got the attention of some really smart people. They wanted to talk to him. Oh, Bracky coming in the lead. Grand in second. What statue gave Paul an idea? The statue of an unknown god, Areopagus, <laughs> Athena, or Diana? Which one gave Paul an idea? Oh, oh, remember it was the statue of the unknown god that made him think, ooh, they already know about God. Let's do this instead. That one got you. Everyone believed Paul and immediately started following Jesus. True or false? Yeah, that was false. Now, remember, there are some people that still said, no, we think we're going to stick with our old ways. Grant and Maggie in the lead. Last question. How can you do what Paul did? Tell people about Jesus, love your friends and family, treat others the way you want to be treated, or tell people what a difference Jesus made in your life. Yeah, any of those. How, that's how you can do what Paul did. Um, let's see. In third place, r, r In second place, Maggie. And in first place, da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Good job. Let's see. And Bracky and Jacob down here on the leaderboard. Good job. Okay. Sign up for the virtual VBS if you haven't already. Anything else, Miss Nikki? That's it. A minute and 50 seconds left. That was pretty close today. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.